Forget about days. We are now down to hours for the opening of the North Carolina State Fair. Officially opens at noon tomorrow. And during the next 10 days, almost a million people, a million, are going to be out there at the fairgrounds. Hopefully not at the same time, right? Yeah, not at the same time. New at 11, <laughs> CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live at the fairgrounds. And Galat, there are several new things about the fair that people need to know about. But it looks like the Ferris wheel is all lit up already behind yeah, you. Yeah, great. Yeah, it is all lit up, but before you can get here and start having fun, there's a big change you need to know about a clear bag requirement to get through security for bags over a certain size, and that would include even something like this. But then once you get through, well, it's time to have fun. Ferris wheels waiting for riders, prizes ready to be won. It feels like fall when we have the state fair, and we're ready for that. The North Carolina State Fair is back for the first time since the pandemic, with some changes before you even enter. Clear bags are required. The exceptions are bags smaller than four and a half by six and a half inches and diaper bags. It'll just hopefully expedite the uh, entry into the fair, uh, help us avoid some lines at the fair. The security can go through and look quickly and see what you have. State Fair spokesperson Andrea Ashby says they will have clear bags for people who forget one. You can use your original bag after security. There are two new rides, and for those who are coming for funnel cake, lemonade. <laughs> That's really all I go for. About 40 new foods and vendors. As for COVID protocols, the fair is recommending masks in large crowds, but there are no vaccine testing or mask requirements, including indoors. This is an event where people eat food, and they walk around, they eat a lot. It's very hard to on the grounds and uh, to enforce, you know, a mask mandate. Loyal fairgoer Holly Thomas. I grew up going like every year. Ready to make her return. Pittsburgh, I think Kiwanis Club that has really good country ham biscuits. I think that one. That's the one I'm looking forward to. When it comes to leaving the fair, the fair is encouraging that you use the park and ride lots. Keep in mind that tomorrow is also the Canes home season opener, and one of the parking lots is Carter Finley Stadium, so of course, right by where they play. Ashby says that the good news is tomorrow is usually one of the lower turnout days, so that could help ease some of the dual traffic between the Canes game and the fair.